Hello everybody, it's Ann. I'm back. And I'm part of a rather interesting collab. We decided, a bunch of us, that we needed to do something special. Because people are special. And there are 11 creators that are part of this every one of us is very different but we're all creators and we all believe that people the individuals are different like flowers in a garden or the colors of the rainbow but each and every one is just as important and just as needed as anyone else we're doing a very interesting collab each of us is choosing a shade out of the rainbow we're going to have a collage eventually at the end of this now besides myself we have Anya Stamper Pink Sweets we have trying to read all this out of here and it's kind of jumbled Allison Krause Valerie from Give Me Lip and More Teresa from Teresa is Dead Betty Jean from Butte Bean Sandra from My Real California Life. Stars Hollywood Jessica. Malin Molin. Paulina from Paulina Beauty. Kitty J. Havoc. And at this point, we may have a few more people. I'm not sure if they all, if we do, I'll be linking everything below. Down in the description, there will be links for everybody's channel and links to everybody's video. This is a special project for me. I'm part of the LGBT community. So is my husband so is most of the rest of the house um, at 60 I believe I'm the oldest member of this collaboration group I think yeah I'm pretty sure now I've dealt with a lot over the years from playing hide and seek to being out in the open and flamboyant to occasionally still playing hide and seek the town we moved to is very conservative I still wear my clip-on party hair around town so far I've only gotten one or two oddball looks I have rainbow clip-in party hair 
Pride Month does not go by without me showing off some. What I'm getting ready to do is create a blue a eye look based off of my choice of color from the rainbow, which is blue. Everyone else in the collaboration has picked either a main color or a variation on that color. And we should have a complete rainbow with some subtle shadings here and there through the whole thing. I hope you enjoy what we're doing. Most of the materials I use will be linked below. So I'm going to pick up a brush and pick up some color and find my base. I've already put some foundation on and powdered it a little. And we're going to get started. Now I practiced this one a few times because I wanted to do something really, really, really nice and really, really, really spectacular. Now this is my AOA Studio white Technically, it's a concealer, but I use it for my eye base when I really want the color to stand out. It's the Wonder Cover Concealer. But if I want the colors to really pop, I drag this white base out and have myself a good time. Now at some point we may get to hear the puppies come back in from outside. So I've already had some Instagram clings from my phone. I may remember to turn it off in a little while. If not you'll just hear ting 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 cling 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 every so often while people from the collaboration are chit-chatting back and forth while we're working on this making sure everybody is all getting questions answered and telling us and keeping track of where everybody is in the filming process and editing this one's taking a little bit of coordination. I don't know if anybody's done a collab with this many people in it before or not. I think we had someone do a little research and couldn't find anything over, I think, like three or four. I think. So this one may be pretty sizable in comparison to some of the others. Okay, let me get that palette out of the way because I need this palette first. Okay, now this palette is a make your own. I picked it up off of Amazon. What I've got in here is mostly ColourPop. But I'm going to be working with this blue down here. Now this thing's got a really nice size. And a really nice mirror. If you're, for if you're running around doing stuff. Out and about. And such so that you know you you don't have to worry about having a stand-up mirror right where you are 
I'm going to use my regular mirror though since that one's kind of right in front and I don't have to hold it. Now the base is still pretty fresh so this is not the time to go in with the big swoopies and you know because it'll just come out patchy just tap it in now this isn't technically a tutorial but I tend to kind of chatter along that way anyhow just so that I'm not sitting here saying nothing the whole time. Because saying nothing is kind of boring for you guys. I Me, mean, I could sit and play with makeup all day long. I don't care. And not say a word. Just sit here and play. Now look at me, I'm forgetting things. I wanted to do this. So that I hopefully don't have a bazillion tons of fallout that even powder won't protect me from. I've been working on something since I have problem seeing I've been working on trying to improve my skills with the offhand so I don't have to do the crossover Because then my arm gets in my own way. I'm not great at it yet. I actually should be better at it. But I have a little issue. You see, when I was very little, it appeared that I was going to be left-handed. It appeared. And my mother, being who and what she is, or was, decided that this was not an idea that she could deal with this left-handed thing because after all it's a right-handed world just ask anybody else who lives left-handed so she goes to my pediatrician and says to the pediatrician would it hurt my daughter if I trained her to use her right hand instead of her left and now this was in late 50s early 60s okay okay we are not talking the most enlightened of times. Apparently, at least according to her, what she told me, is the doctor 
was confident, confident, that it would cause me no real harm to be trained to use the right hand, specifically. I'm not sure he understood where she was going with this. In later years, because of a form of dyslexia I have, and some spatial relations issues that I have, someone suggested that I was supposed to have been left-handed, And I brought this up to my mother and told her about the odd pattern dyslexia and the spatial relations issues. I can't really place my left side in space in relation to the rest of me. It's kind of weird, but there it is. And lo and behold, the woman looks at me and says, but the doctor said it wouldn't hurt you. And my little mind is going, ting. And I'm going, what wouldn't hurt me? And she said, training you to use just your right hand hand instead of being left-handed and I said and how was this feat accomplished apparently it was decided that the best way to accelerate the process and to make sure it took well was to bind my left hand to my side until I began to routinely favor my right hand. And I'm going, you what? You bound my left hand so I could not use it. I see. And again, she reiterated that it wasn't supposed to hurt you. And I'm going, hmm, how special. Now, believe it or not, this story does have an application here. And I took exception to the idea that this was okay. And for some reason, she determined that my taking exception was an ungrateful behavior because I was saved all the hassle of having to learn to deal with being left-handed in a right-handed world. And I'm going, yes, but now I barely use my left hand. And when I do, everything is backwards. And I literally bash into walls and things and corners of walls with my left side because it doesn't exist where I think it does. It extends out. She was
was not particularly receptive to the idea that I should have just been left be to deal with my left-handedness and not have the funky dyslexia and not have the spatial relations issues because it was normal and I decided then that quote-unquote normal could go hang itself now I was still in my early 20s when this came out And I keep thinking about this because she physically restrained a part of my body to keep me from using it because of her perception of normalcy. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? All of our families that decide we can't be who we really are because it's not normal. I know there's a lot of us who have had maybe not crazy things like your left arm tied down but you spend a lot of time trying to pretend you're somebody you're not you're something that you're not because the family considers it normal Not that it is. Even if you've got something going on with your body that is different than the supposed average person, you're normal. You are in your own normal. Your body and your mind came out this way. And anybody else who doesn't think that's good enough can go suck an egg. Here come the ploppies. They're coming back. had to deal with the aftermath of my mom trying to create normal by forcing me into using my right hand when I should have been left-handed. I had to deal with the whole family insisting that I be normal because I was born a girl. Therefore, I had to be a normal girl. 
There is nothing normal about my girl. At least not to general society. General society does not understand my girl. Which I'm okay with. They don't understand her. They don't necessarily want to understand her. I'll talk to people who do. Or whether or not they understand her, they don't mind if I are her. We are who we are, regardless of what anybody else believes we should be, or how we should act, or how we should present. This is our life. Nothing else that anybody does is going to do anything except make it harder if they try to make us change into what they consider the way we should be. And I'm not okay with that. I've been through that one. I got lucky. Considering my parents were fundamentalist Southern Baptists, I got very lucky that they did not try to pray the demon out. I also got very lucky that most of my relations that probably would have shot me. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing, but it wasn't funny. This is for real. That probably would have shot me were not people I had to deal with on a regular basis. And at my age now, those particular relations are pretty much all passed on, so I'm okay. It's not perfect, but I'm mostly okay with the remainder of the family. And those that still can't handle it, at least don't shoot. And I don't deal with them unless I absolutely have to. You are who you are. And don't let anybody try and tell you otherwise. Be yourself. Present how you want to present. Yes, it can be scary especially in the current political situation. I'm not going to tell you any different that it's not, that it's definitely scary now. But then, remember,
our elders who picked up the bricks and the bottles and whatever else came to hand at Stonewall. They were scared too. But they were pushed to a point where the fear took over and became anger. And they stood up and said, no more. Right now, we've got some of that fear and anger happening again. Because there are people who believe that we shouldn't be allowed, shouldn't be allowed to be, shouldn't be allowed to live. And I got news for them. We're not going back. The fight's not over. However, I do believe we have a slightly larger army now. Because we've got people that are part of the LGBTQ community that are out in the open more. And we've got a heck of a lot more allies who are willing to stand with us. They go to pride. They carry banners. Some of them hand out free mom and dad hugs for those people who have lost their family because their family couldn't accept who they are. Each and every one of us is enough. Being who we are is enough. There is nothing else we need to be for ourselves. We don't need to fit anybody else's mold, anybody else's definition. I mean, think about it. Even the, sci the scientists are redefining gender and sexuality pretty much on a daily basis because they keep finding new expressions of gender and sexuality. You don't have to be some particular person's version of what your gender is other than yourself. Alrighty, I'm going to run away for a few minutes, clean up a few things, dust off a little bit of fallout from the glitter, and I'll be back.
Hello, I'm back. Took the pin out of the front of my hair. Got my hawk rolled up so that it's not just laying flat. Got a little bit of a lip on. AOA Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick in Lit. And AOA Studio Diamond Lip Gloss in Mermaid. To put that little shine in the middle. Now, got a little highlight. Kind of silvery blue to go with the blue eyes. Yes, I still have glitter in strange places like alongside my nose. Once glitter gets loose, you cannot recontain it. Once the human spirit gets loose, you cannot recontain it. Discover ourselves every day. We learn more and more about who we are to ourselves. For some people, being out and open has taken decades. For some people, out and open, hit the minute they took their first breath. Neither is an easy way to go. But I'm glad I went there. You, as you really are, as you feel you are, as you know you are, are enough. You always have been. No one else can take that away from you unless you let them. Believe in yourself. Believe you know who you are and you know where you want to go. Happy Pride.